Imagine waking up to a fresh, 3D-printed breakfast. No cooking, no prep, just ready to eat. Like your coffee maker, but way cooler. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, it's real. 3D food printing is here, and it's already changing the way we eat. But how does it actually work? Let's take a trip across the globe, from high-tech labs in the Netherlands to pasta-making robots in Italy and even into outer space to find out. How 3D Food Printing Works The race for new ways to produce food is heating up, and 3D food printing is leading the charge. This isn't just about making cool-looking snacks, it's the only tech that can turn digital designs into actual edible meals. Yeah, we're literally printing food. 3D food printers work just like regular 3D printers, layer by layer, using a design file that tells them exactly what to create. First, the ingredients are prepped and pureed into a pasta using mixers or blenders, depending on the food type. Think mashed vegetables, doughs, or protein-rich blends. Additives like gelling agents or thickeners, such as agar, pectin, or xanthan gum, are sometimes mixed in to get the texture just right for printing. Then, the printer loads up the file and gets to work squeezing out the food through a nozzle and shaping it with insane precision. But not all food prints the same way. Some foods like dough or puree print smoothly and are ready to eat right away. But others like cheese or melted chocolate come out in liquid form and need to be cooled or set before they're good to go. That's why food tech experts keep an eye on the process tweaking settings to make sure every bite comes out just right. Recently, researchers have begun to incorporate the use of lasers into the 3D printing machines to essentially cook the ingredients as they're being made. One of the most mind-blowing developments is how some printers now handle multi-ingredient meals. Imagine printing a cheeseburger where the bun, patty, and sauce are each deposited in perfect order cooked or cooled at just the right moment, all without a frying pan in sight. It's like having a digital chef with robotic precision and zero burnout. Even crazier? Some experimental printers can read biometric data, like your age, weight, or even vitamin deficiencies, and adjust the meals as it prints to fit your exact needs. Now, if you're wondering, does 3D printed food taste weird? The answer is no. It's made with the same ingredients as regular food, just shaped in a way that's impossible by hand. The difference isn't in the flavor, it's in the precision, the texture, and how insanely detailed these edible creations can be. History of 3D printing food. As you might know, 3D printing isn't new. Engineers have been using it for decades. Back in the 90s, scientists at Wake Forest Institute printed human organ tissues. Yes, human tissue. And NASA has been printing rocket parts since the early 2000s. But here's the twist. Until recently, no one thought about using it to print food. Now, chefs are jumping on the tech, eager to see just how far they can push the limits of edible creativity. This isn't just cooking. It's personalized edible engineering. 3D food printing lets chefs get wildly creative, whipping up designs that would be nearly impossible to make by hand. It also means food can be customized down to the tiniest detail, perfect for picky eaters, kids who hate certain textures, or even people with special dietary needs. Besides being fun and creative, it's practical. 3D food printing slashes prep time cuts down on waste by using only the exact ingredients needed and guarantees every plate looks identical. No more struggling to get the same swirl of chocolate or the perfect drizzle of sauce, just precision every single time. That's a game changer for high-end restaurants and mass food production alike. But how does it actually work? Real World Applications Traditional food production has its problems. Just ask any restaurant owner. Tons of waste, high cost, and a growing demand for meals that cater to specific diets. 
and all that wasted food? It ends up in landfills, releasing methane, a greenhouse gas even worse than carbon dioxide. So, finding a smarter way to make food isn't just trendy, it's necessary. With AI and data-driven nutrition plans for individuals, 3D food printing could change the game. We can print custom meals at scale without the waste or inefficiency of traditional methods. Traditional food-producing factories are designed for mass production, not flexibility. Imagine a world where every meal is tailored exactly to your body's needs. 3D food printing could make that a reality. Big companies are already jumping on the 3D food printing trend. Take Cadbury, for example. Instead of spending a fortune designing new chocolate shapes the old-fashioned way, they use custom-made 3D printers to create molds and prototypes. That means crazier, more intricate designs and faster, cheaper production. Basically, they're hacking the system. And it's not just desserts. The Italian pasta giant Baria teamed up with Dutch researchers to develop a 3D printer that can create insanely detailed pasta shapes, designs that would be impossible to make at scale using traditional methods. Picture a bowl of pasta shaped like your initials or a company logo. Yeah, that's where this is going. Over in the Netherlands, 3D printing isn't just for show, it's solving real-world problems. Researchers figured out a way to 3D print carrots, not for fun, but to help elderly people who struggle to chew. Instead of serving them a sad, mushy baby food puri, they blend fresh carrots with a gelling agent, print them into realistic carrot shapes, and boom, soft, chewable, and looking like the real thing. They've done the same with peas and broccoli, too. And if you think 3D food printing is just an Earth thing, think again. NASA's all over this. They're already 3D printing food as a way to feed astronauts on deep space missions. Astronauts are now printing a fresh, customized meal on a spaceship instead of eating the same dehydrated packets for months. In fact, they're already working on 3D printed pizza for space travel. Sci-fi is becoming reality. At this point, it's pretty clear. 3D food printing isn't just some gimmick. It's reshaping the way we create, customize, and even think about food. From high-end restaurants to retirement homes, space missions, and your future kitchen, this tech is changing the game. And the best part? We're only scratching the surface. We're not just talking about cool designs or making life easier for chefs. 3D printing could tackle some of the biggest food challenges we face today personalized nutrition, cutting down food waste, even feeding people in remote areas. It's all on the table. So the real question is, how long before this becomes part of your kitchen? For more videos like this explanation on 3D food printing or the fixed Dubai chocolate bar, be sure to subscribe. It helps us bring you more interesting content. Check out our playlist of other factory food creations like the Impossible Burger, Cat Poop Coffee, and cricket protein bars. And of course, if there's a product or trend you'd like to see covered, please share in the comments. You may have the next best video idea for us.